first of all, what I'm going to go into is just uh, Wish Pond Central here. This is the all-in-one platform where we can actually get to all of the different platforms under Propel IQ. And this is actually where the client can find their website. So during our onboarding process, we are actually designing the website for the client. So it isn't even something that they have to um, go in and try to navigate themselves, but it's going to be really easy to use when they do want to go in and make any kind of change on their website. So Wishpond Central here is where they're going to find their website, any of their campaigns, such as landing pages, email campaigns, those kind of things. We have several different um, industries here where they can actually find hundreds of different templates that they can use. They're easy to edit and they can create other different types of campaigns to drive more leads into their business. We're going to go into the spa and massage because we're actually going to use the model of Jason's wife as an RMT for the sake of this demo. So we're going to go into the back end here, and this is where we're going to be able to edit the website. We're going to be able to find various different types of campaigns, landing pages from giveaways to consultation bookings, uh, to photo contests, all of your email automation, email newsletters, pop-ups for your website, all of those are contained within this platform. And so I just wanna show you just how simple it is to navigate the website builder. Once our team has designed the website, it's incredibly simple. It's actually out of all of the website builders that I've ever used, the Wishpond build website builder is the very easiest to navigate. So if you can move your mouse around the screen, you can point and click, you can actually edit your own website. So what's really nice is everything is what you see is what you get. These guidelines are going to show me sort of the safe places within what is going to be viewable on my screen above and below the fold, et cetera. If I wanna make this logo bigger, for example, all I need to do is drag it. Um, I can move it around the screen. I can fill the entire screen if I want, move my text around. And if any of you have any experience at all of going into the back end of a website, it's usually quite complicated. And normally to you know move a logo around it's something you need to go into the coding for. You've got to change the pixels in another editing program. So it's really, really simple for anyone to go in and, and edit their website. Um, let's just say, for example, someone wanted to add a video to the homepage of their website. We can simply, let's delete this image here. And we have various components that can be added to a website. So I'm actually going to scroll through th these elements until I find video. I'll simply put in the URL of a YouTube video, and now I have a video on my screen. Um, I can move the text around. And then one thing that Wishpond has kept in mind is that about 80% of people actually view a website on their mobile device. So we want to make sure that no matter what device you're viewing uh, the website's on, you don't need to have prior coding knowledge to make sure that it is viewable on those devices. We can simply, with the click of one button, see what it's going to look like on various devices. And then what you notice is that, you know, the layout has changed a little bit because I was editing for desktop. So I'm simply going to click one button to optimize that page layout. So now it is optimized for a mobile device. Uh, we can do A-B testing so that we can see if we're going to get better conversions on this page, if we have a video or without the video, for example. Um, if I go back here, we can actually just click the preview button to see what exactly it's going to look like once that website is live. So really nice, simple, easy to use interface there. Um, now, the nice thing about the website, as I was mentioning, it's not just a static brochure site, it's actually integrated with the rest of the marketing. And so what I mean here is that we can actually view the entire customer journey on the websites we build throughout the different platforms. So let's just say, for example, this lead has come to the website at some point. We don't know who they are. And then at another point in time, they actually come and they fill out a web form. Now, when they come and fill out that web form, all of their information is going to be synced with their prior visits on the page so that now we can view that entire customer journey through the website. So we can see which pages they viewed on the website. Have they watched a video? Have they placed an order? Have they made an appointment to book uh, for a massage, for example? So we can see their appointments in here. We can see their entire profile, anything that they filled out on the web form. And let's just say, for example, 
um, as an RMT, you have a new service that you're offering. It's a brand new service that you really want to educate your clients on. And so you've built a new page on your website on that service, and there's a video on there. We could even uh, create some automation on the website that if someone has gone to that page, they've watched the video, we could have a pop-up that asks them if they would like more information. They could be sent into what we call one of our smart lists, and then they could receive automation that gives them additional information on that video that they just watched on that service. And then from there, that automation could encourage them to then book an appointment. So um, it really becomes an integral part of that marketing, that customer journey. So now when people are going to the website, one thing that we do want to keep in mind as well is if they're performing, say, a Google search and they've gotten to your website, 98 out of 100 people who visit a website will stay on the website no longer than six seconds. So if we have, you know, even paid to have our search at the top of Google, or we've paid Facebook to have that customer go over to the website and they have landed on the website only to leave, if we have no way to capture their information, chances are next time they perform a Google search, they could land on the competition. So we want to make sure that we're actually capturing their information and we're starting to go through that nurturing process until they are comfortable booking that appointment with you. So let's just say they have landed on this page of the website, they're looking at the different services, massage therapy here, deep tissue, relaxation, but now something's distracted them and they go to leave. Right now, as I go to leave, you see my mouse is leaving the page and there's nothing to stop me to ask for my contact information. So now you could have very well lost me as a customer after putting in the effort to SEO or into you know Google ads or however it is that you got the customer on that page. So Let's just say for an example, um, if we can all just use our imagination that this is the same website that we're on, and instead they're looking through um, all of those different massage services, but this time as their mouse goes to leave the page, now we have some sort of incentive to actually capture their information. So this could be, you know, book your free consultation, or perhaps it's get 10% off your first massage, some sort of exchange of value for, that, for their customer information. And then once we have that customer information, we're now able to actually start that nurturing process to turn them into a customer. So we could follow that up with email. We can follow that up with SMS to make sure that our name becomes top of mind when they are thinking of booking a massage. Likewise, um, Jason had mentioned that his wife is looking at putting some different wellness products on her website. So let's say um, there's some massage oils on the website. A customer goes to the website, they put the massage oil in their shopping cart, they leave their shopping cart. In fact, this happens out of every 10 shopping carts that are um, have an item placed in them, seven people will abandon those shopping carts. So how are we recovering those customers? We can set up abandoned shopping cart campaigns through email and through SMS so that when someone goes to put something in their cart, they leave. Now you get that text message, you get that email to follow you up, bring you back to the website. And for, for part of those, we will use our Wishpond Central and we will create our email automation um, so that we can combine the powerful use of email as well as text messaging to ensure that that customer comes back to you. The other tool we'll use is our WinBack software. And so um, with our WinBack software, I'll just go into, first of all, our cart abandons. There's several different things we can do in WinBack, but if the customer were to abandon their shopping cart, then the next day, we can have a message going out to them. Do you still want your product? Click here to get it. And now instead of having to perform a Google search, navigate through your website, they're simply taken right to the shopping cart where they can check out. If they didn't act on that very first message, then the next day they can get a, a second message and we can send out a third message and so on. Um, this actually just worked on me the other day <laughs> with a product that I purchased and it was the second message that got me. Um, so in addition to the cart abandons, we can do browser abandons. So if someone goes to the website, they go to leave without even putting something in their shopping cart. And now we can send out a series of text messages to them. We can create upsells. So if they purchase, say, a certain massage oil, maybe there is a warming cream that goes really nicely with it. And we can send them a text message later. Would you like the warming cream to go with your massage oil? and say that massage oil is out of stock, we can now send out an alert when that item is back in stock. 
Um, we can check all of our different messages in our in in our inbox from our different clients um, and very various other campaigns that we could put on here. We could have a massage Monday where you know they can book their massage and um, they get an extra 15 minutes to that massage. Um, here I'm in the dashboard actually of one of our current clients and this is showing the last 30 days. And this is the additional revenue here that they have just recuperated on their website that otherwise would have been lost had this not been installed on their website. So you can see this is a really valuable tool um, in order to recuperate that the revenue that could have been lost, um, you know, had the person just left the website and not completed their purchase. Uh, and so going back to the diagram, the other important piece that we had talked about was referral marketing. Um, and this is essentially just word of mouth on steroids. And so for that, in Propel IQ, we include our viral loop software where we can create a number of different types of referral campaigns. One of the ones that we could use in particular for an RMT would be a refer a friend campaign. And so I'm just going to go into here. So with a refer a friend campaign, what we can do is someone can sign up to become a referrer. They put in their name and their email and they get a unique referral link that they can now share to their friends. And let's just say, Whenever their friend books a massage, their friend gets $10 off, and then they also get $10 off their next massage. So now you can really take that word of mouth and start to encourage people to be telling their friends, their family about it and bring more customers to you. Um, and then we're going to talk about just building up that database. So one of the things that we like to do to help to fill that database with prospective clients is to create landing pages again within Wishpond Central. And so with a landing page, the reason why we would use a landing page is they tend to have a better conversion rate than going straight over to the website. The reason for that is a landing page is very specific in its call to action. Where a website, there's a menu bar, there's distractions. With a landing page, we're just gonna go into Wishpond Central again, a landing page is very specific in terms of what we want the client to do. So for instance, here, I'm going to create a landing page for booking a deep tissue massage. And again, all of the different uh, you know, landing pages, email campaigns, all of those are the same easy to use software. And so here, if we wanted to create a landing page to encourage people to book a deep tissue massage, you can see there's just one call to action. We want them to contact us for that massage. So we're going to get a much higher conversion rate on this landing page. Now on this one, we actually have a phone number that they can call to book. If they were to call, we can actually have that phone number tracked and we can do that in our Evergenius software. This is the CRM portion of Propel IQ. And in the CRM, we can actually see, you know, who is currently a prospect, who we've had a consult with, who's booked their massage, et cetera. And we can go into the call records and we can actually see who has clicked that number, who's called, um, and we can begin to track how effective that landing page actually is. Now, let's say that they uh, book that consultation and we wanna make sure that they're going to actually arrive and show up for that massage. So now we can actually create funnels where we send out SMS records to remind them about the massage. Maybe we want to remind them two days ahead of time, maybe the day before or two hours before their massage. The customer can actually reply and we can now, you know, if we were to actually click on one of these messages, we can view the client who's actually booked. We can look at the entire conversation, maybe send an SMS back if they made an inquiry, maybe they texted back and said, I have to change that. Uh, the time of the booking, and we can send an SMS back to them. We can create some customer notes, et cetera. Now in this um, CRM, we can also see opportunities. So we can see when someone has perhaps filled out a form for a consultation, have they actually become a client? We could book their appointment in here. Um, we could also see the analytics of the website. So lots of different things that we can do in the CRM software. And then with the landing page, we can also do other things besides booking a consultation. We could have, you know, enter to win uh, one free massage just to fill up that database full of prospects. And perhaps those are really cold leads who aren't quite sure they want to convert yet. They're not sure if a massage is right for them. 
we could then use Wishpond Central's email marketing to send an email drip campaign to make sure that we are nurturing them. And each of those campaigns could then have a booking link into that CRM to book that appointment to which, of course, if they book that appointment, now we're gonna send out those reminders to them again to just make sure that they do show up for that appointment. So it really is an all-in-one system where all of those different components are pulled together, set up for the client. And then just like Ali mentioned in the beginning, it's going to create that self-sustaining growth wheel to attract, collect customer data, to nurture them. And then of course, to use them as a referral base to attract others.